from the middle of nowhere in Mexico. We stop right now for, oh, hey, friend. <laughs> we're going on a road trip. <laughs> so we're going on a road trip to Grutas, which are the hot springs. Mm -hmm. And then after Grutas, we're going to San Miguel. And we're in the middle of nowhere. Look at this. It's so beautiful. So yeah, we're gonna uh, finish our trip. Here you go, Booth. I think there are goats back there. Yeah, there are goats, roosters. roosters. <laughs> like, it's so organic. It's so organic. <laughs> oh my God. Look, we got a rental car, y'all. Yes. We are really doing this. <laughs> getting all our things out the trunk and the entrance is like over there and I'm really excited to see how beautiful it is on TikTok and Instagram it looks really beautiful we got here early because actually on the weekends it's really 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 busy and so it'll be harder to like photoshop and crop people at your picture so we got here early and yeah we about to do it nature people the camping, queens. camping kings and queens they bout it bout it. it make them say ah okay we admire but we don't aspire a period Mexico. Y'all, we woke up at 4 a.m. to drop to Grutas. Got there like uh, after 7, was there to 4, and then drove from Grutas to San Miguel, which was like four, four hours in traffic, in rain, tired, <laughs> but we did it. And now we're in San Miguel till Monday. So two more days here, and we're going to enjoy ourselves, okay? Okay, in, in the plaza. Like, how cute is this? <laughs> Period. And I'm going to tell the world.
So we are on our first like full official day in San Miguel and thus far it's just been a dream. A, a dream. A, a dream. Like we were literally just talking about how most Americans wouldn't know about San Miguel because most Americans know what about what? They know about yeah, Cabo, Cancun, and the cartel. That's it. And that's not right. That is the extent of America's knowledge of Mexico, Cabo, Cancun, and the cartel. And it's just so much deeper than that. It's so much beautiful more than that. It's so much his it's so much more historic than that. And we were just sitting here talking about how we just feel so blessed to 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 what what did you say last night? You said that we are the people No, you said in a prayer when we were in the car, you were like We are the people the ambassador. Ambassador. The goddess that yes. really perception around Mexico. That's what you said. Within this demography, within yeah. this landscape, the ecological system, the landscape is so vast. It's so vast. It's so vast. Because of how God made this earth. Yeah. You know, regardless of what happens here, every country has their name, Facts. has their history. But there's so much beauty to admire and to enjoy and to understand. So you have to bring your eyes here. Yeah. Because this video, this picture. Yeah. Not it's not going to do it justice, y'all. Like, honestly, like, look at this view. That is our view as we eat brunch right here at this beautiful rooftop. And on the other side, you literally have, like, the whole entire city landscape. And then over here, you have the hills with these beautiful mansions. It's just like... It's incredible. It's incredible. This is such a dreamy city. And even when we were road tripping, because we went to Grutas yesterday, and then we drove to San Miguel. It took like four hours. Even just driving through Mexico, the landscape was just like mountains and like beautiful you know, like sunsets. And we were just like jamming to like old school R&B, singing our hearts out. Like it was just, it was incredible. And overall, we both were just thanking God that not only that he, you know, he brought us to each other, but he gave us careers that allow us to experience this kind of life and just overall I just hope through this video y'all take the leap of faith and get outside your comfort zone and really travel to places that you may not really know about or even places you know about so you can get your own perception your own view and you don't have to listen to what you see on TikTok or even this video because I can tell you everything but it's still not going to be the same as physically coming here yourself and visiting so I wanted to say that we're gonna keep eating and I'm gonna keep showing y'all what we're gonna do. We're going to a vineyard after this, so we're really excited. We found you all looking at like We are at the winery. We got here a little late, but we're here. And it's just us. We're gonna do a tasting. Yes, we are. And if it stops raining, we'll be able to tour the vineyard, but if it don't, oh well. It is what it is. The Grenache is the most used grape or the most popular grape around the world for making rosés. Mm -hmm. This is not an exception and it's a very unusual rosé because you see the color is more oxidative. Yeah. And the mouth is going to be mineral mm -hmm. uh, with some saltiness. It's refreshing. It's a very mm -hmm. unusual rosé. It's not sweet at all. Yeah. When I like this. I'm not a rosé person, but this is really nice. It is nice. Mm -hmm. Here's one. This one? Mm -hmm. uh, gorgonzola cheese. This is named Taleyo. And this is manchego. Okay. The back was spices and in the mouth is very round. It has not too much astringency, not too much tannins. Please. Please. Uh, let, let me know. Try his favorite wine. Very round. Okay. Yeah. Round. Yes. But this is great. Toasted, smoked, oaky. At some point, the production of American wine overpasses the consumption of Spanish wine. And that was not good for the King of Spain and for the crown. Yeah. So they decide to stop the production of American wine. Wow. You see where we were? Oh, it's over there. The taller trees from where we are surrounded is like the borderline on this side. Uh, what uh -huh. kind of wine will this will make red? Uh, the Mistela, the dessert wine. Okay. The dessert wine. Dessert These wine. are sweet. Mm -hmm. Okay. But those are not sweet yet. Hotels <laughs> or restaurants. If you have the budget, you can make one for you. If you have the budget! Yes. Well, we want to get married here, so we would love... We're going to make a budget. Oh my gosh, look at this. As you see on the walls, those are small windows that are helping us from having natural light inside of the room. Oh, wow. glass on it to prevent a plague like any animal came in. Uh-huh. And the glass will also prevent the plague. 
The room has their own air conditioner to keep yeah. it more regulated temperature. All right, the winery was awesome. We literally showed up like an hour and a half late and they accommodating us. It was nice actually, because it was just me and Asleen, so it was like a private tour. It was really nice. And now we are headed to a cute little rooftop to eat. We are leaving our Airbnb. It was fun. We had our great time, San Miguel. Look how cute it is. It's this cute little garden terrace. We're gonna head and get some food. Si tu cuerpo es un pecado, que me perdone Dios por andar codiciándolo. Yo no aguanto las ganas de tenerte en mi cama. Eres todo un adiós en el cuerpo de una mujer. Y te quiero tener bebé. A mi brazo se acerca te. Y hagamos el amor como lo. Cheers to a great trip to San Miguel. And to many more. Yes. Friend, how was the trip? The trip was just phenomenal. The vibes, the winery, the staffing. I mean, everybody went the extra mile to make us feel welcome. And we were, we were where we were supposed to be. Yeah. At all times. At all times. At all times. At all times. So, yeah. times. No mistakes for me. Yeah. I really enjoyed it. And we de both agreed that this is definitely a place where you need to be here for like a week. Like it's just yeah, so don't rush, this. don't rush it. It's impossible. Great food at like every place we ate at. Yeah. Very cute small town quaint vibes. Like it just requires at least five days just to feel like you got a decent experience out of it. Like we we're like, damn, we gotta leave. <laughs> So but very grateful that we were able to come here, yeah. enjoy it, meet amazing people from the moment we stepped in San Miguel. Like, literally. Mark this because if you see us getting married here, this is why that vision would be manifested. Literally. Here. So we literally said that, like, out. this is one of those cities you come to and you're like, yeah, I'm yeah. getting married here. It's yeah. very charming, it's very quaint. It's got, it's like, it was colonized by the Spanish, so it's got that colonial Spanish, like, architectural aspect to it. It's just. Chef's kids, chef's kids. So we had a great time, and now we're about to hit the road and head back to Mexico City and jam out. So, yeah.